Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Brittany. If you have not been to my channel yet, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and like this video when you're done. I post everything on my channel from story times to makeup tutorials to vlogs, anything. So if you like anything, then subscribe. So today I'm going to be telling you guys a crazy ass story time. Um, and first off, I just want to say that do not follow my footsteps. Do not do anything that I did in this video. I was a really terrible child. Um, we'll just leave it at that. None of this is fake. This is all true and it really did happen. And there really could have been way more consequences than we actually got. But the story time today is going to be about how I went to Tahoe with my family and got caught doing drugs and my... Um, two friends were arrested and banned for life from the um, casinos and I had to wait outside of the police station by myself till 4 o'clock in the morning. So, um, if you guys want to hear about this crazy ass story, trust me, it's gonna be good. Grab your drinks. I am drinking currently um, this mixture from Starbucks. What it is is the very very hibiscus, um, but instead of adding water, I like to have them add green tea because I love green tea. Get your fucking snacks because this is gonna be interesting. So I have tried to film this story a couple times, um, and I think I just keep redoing it because I'm trying to sugarcoat it, but there's really nothing that I can sugarcoat about this. Um, this was just a crazy fucking time in my life, okay? And I was a dirtbag, and don't judge me by this because I'm not like this at all anymore, and I haven't been like this for a really, really long time. But, yeah, and by the way, I'm sick, so if I start, I don't know, if I sound stuffed up or anything, then just, just fucking just leave it. Just ignore it. We all get sick, okay? And, and I might be dying, so. So, going back till, I think it was around like 2012, you know, when the world was ending. <laughs> <laughs> um, don't quote me on that because I am not... 100% sure when it was, but um, we'll just say that. I grew up in California, and where I grew up was really close to Lake Tahoe. And if anybody knows what Lake Tahoe is, it is a beautiful, beautiful fucking town. Like, I would live there if I was rich. But it's just a small little, like, hippie town, but like everybody takes care of it and it's just really, really beautiful. It's got this huge lake um, in the center of it and then it also borders with Nevada and that is where like the strip is. Um, so there's like the Vegas strip, well Tahoe has that too. And on the border is like where all of the casinos are and um, that will, uh, we'll get into that later. <laughs> really, really cool town and a lot of the times it was like a tradition for not exactly my family, but me, I always went to Tahoe for New Year's. Like, New Year's, Tahoe was the place to be in New Year's. All of my friends went up there, um, and you had to, you had to book a room, like, way in advance, like, almost like a year in advance, um, at the hotel, Mount Blue. There was a couple of them, like, around there. There was, like, shitty motels and stuff, but Mount Blue is, like, the the hotel to be at because they have a club inside of it and a casino and stuff and the club is like the main attraction there it's really not even that big but it was i don't know somehow it worked with having i don't know somehow it worked everybody everybody party there anyways that was just the place to fucking be and i remember at the time i was best friends with a boy and we're just gonna call him tyler we were best friends like we hung out all the fucking time. Everybody thought we were sleeping together, but we really never ever slept together at all. Um, but that's just how high school is. Rumors. So yeah, me and Tyler were best friends and we were trying to figure out what we were gonna do for New Year's that year. Um, we It was too late to book a room um, at Mount Blue. We had friends that lived up in Tahoe, but everybody, like I said, everybody went to Tahoe. So everything was full and we were just kind of stumped on what we were gonna do for the year had no plans and we didn't just want to waste New Year's because New Year's is just, I don't know, I always celebrate New Year's no matter what. We were trying to figure out something to do and my parents had bought in a motorhome that, uh, that year and it was a bigger, nice motorhome and there was a ton of campgrounds in Lake Tahoe and that's 
that would be a lot cheaper than trying to buy a room and everything and my parents had came up with the idea of just going bringing their motorhome down to a campsite and we'd all just camp there and then if we wanted to go out then we could just easily walk there it was like a mile and a half or like two mile walk but if we wanted to go out then that's what we would do so my parents had offered the idea hey why don't we just rent a campsite and then we'll drive down there um and you know just freaking let you guys do your own thing we'll stay at the campsite and we'll just have a good weekend so um another person involved in this story i am going to call her kara we'll do kara kara was with us as well and so it was Kara, Tyler, me, my mom and dad, and we were like, okay, let's do this. We all got the days off work. We were super excited about it because it's just such a fun place to be, like such a fun place. And so the time comes and we all head up to Lake Tahoe and we're in my parents' motorhome. My parents love to party with us and everything. They, as long as like we're around them and stuff, they they are like comfortable with us partying with them um and my parents weren't really strict growing up at all but yeah so the time comes we all like get everything together and we're taking shots on the way up to uh tahoe because once we get there i think we got there on like a friday and i think new year's actually fell on a saturday that day or that year and there is a place that you party at before new year's and it's called zephyr cove and Zephyr Cove is like just a beach area on Lake Tahoe and there's just fucking thousands of people there like it's literally packed like sardines um they have a bar up at this restaurant on the cove and it's just I don't know it's a really really good time um but we were all pre-gaming there found a parking spot and we all just did a day fade and just like partied there and camped out we hung out with a couple friends that live there that night and that's where, oh God, I don't even know why I'm telling this story. So my parents are back at the campsite with the motorhome. Me, Kara, and Tyler go to our friend's house. His family actually owned a house in, in Tahoe. And we went over there and we all had this bright idea that there was gonna be cocaine. I mean, there was gonna be cocaine. We wanted cocaine and our friend had a way to get it so that's what we did we bought it and like i said <laughs> don't follow my footsteps i was dumb i was young um but i did play around with drugs i mean i did i didn't do any like hardcore <clears throat> i mean i would consider cocaine hardcore but i didn't do any like anything really really crazy we wanted to have a really good time on new year's and that's the way that we figured it would be <laughs> fun is if we just had cocaine but anyways our friend got us the connection on that and we we bought some so time comes to where it is saturday and everybody's getting ready like we hadn't done anything that night um <coughs> on friday night but everybody's getting ready to go we're about to have like a really good time because we have tickets to go into the club in mount blue and it's just, it's so much fun just walking around and there's a ton of casinos. You can gamble, you can like do any anything. Everybody's drunk. They have like a huge fireworks show on the lake and it's just a really good time. So the time comes and we obviously have the drugs with us and we go party at the club for a little bit and dance around and everything. We got a couple drinks in us and then um, Tyler and Kara and I were like, well, okay, like, we want to do some of the drugs that we purchased. Um, I don't know why I'm, like, so awkward talking about this. But we wanted to do coke. So, <coughs> this was the stupidest thing I think we probably ever could have done, obviously, because it had repercussions. We started walking around the casino, and we were like, well, we have no way to split it. We didn't have more than, we just had the bag that, um that we had purchased from the fucking, the plug. So we just had that, we had no way to split it. And so Tyler came up with this bright idea and he was like, just come in the bathroom with me and we'll just do it in one stall. Like we'll just all go in one stall. And there was so many people around. Um, so I don't know why 
I don't know why we would have ever thought that that would be a good idea, but like I said, we were drinking already. We like had a bunch of drinks in us and I don't know, we just start to get careless and not aware of your surroundings when you're um, under the influence. And so all of us in our like skimpy dresses, cause it's New Year's, cause that's acceptable. <laughs> so all of us go into the guy's bathroom and there's one big stall all the way at the end. And we go all the way down to the end in that stall. And I remember this like it was yesterday. We walk in there and I'm the last one. There's So Tyler goes in, Kara goes in, and I'm the last one. And I go to close the door and the latch is broken on it. So it doesn't lock. And so the only way to hold it shut would just be like backing up against it. And I remember I just got a huge gut feeling. I was like, nope. Nope, 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 I'm not gonna do this. And so I walked, I ran out of the bathroom. I was like, nope, I'm not gonna do that. And um, <clears throat> I'm standing out there and then all of a sudden, about fucking five or six security guards just bulldoze the door and they all go in there and I was like, what the fuck is happening? <laughs> All of them rushed in there and I was like, no, like no way. Like I thought there was like a fight or something that broke out. Like I had no idea that it would, at the time I had no idea that they were actually going in there for my friends. A little pro tip, um, in casinos there's cameras everywhere. I mean everywhere. And they are on high, high security, especially on New Year's. Just because the amount of people that um, are in that place. And lo and behold, <laughs> All those security officers and cops come out and they have Kara and they have Tyler and they throw some handcuffs on them and I was freaking out because I was like, oh my god, oh my god, what the fuck, like, what happened? And I still can't, I still can't believe that I got out of there before any of that happened. But they took Kara and they took Tyler and I was like freaking out, I was screaming and Kara was like, Brittany, Brittany, what the fuck? Like, don't let them take me, don't let me take the, don't let them take me. And she was so fucking scared, started crying. Tyler was just like, what the fuck? Like, what is going on? Sorry, excuse me if I'm cussing a lot, but um, he was just like, dude, like, I don't even know, like, what to do. And the, I was trying to get an answer out of the cops that had them, and I was like, what, where are you taking them? Like, what did they do? And the cops were still fucking rude at that time. And I was just freaking out. I was like, where are you taking them? Like, please let them go. They didn't, they didn't do anything wrong. And these cops were so, so, so mean. And I could totally understand why now because I was probably sounding like really sloppy drunk and they just caught my friends doing cocaine in the fucking men's stall and yeah. Anyways, <laughs> I was like, are they going to jail? And one of the cops was just like, probably. And just like took my friends and I was just like, holy fuck. Cause I was there by myself and so they didn't want me to follow them or anything. I tried following and they were like, she'll be here and she's probably going to go to jail. Like you might want to call whoever you can to get her out of jail um, and Tyler as well. And I was just like, okay, like, um, what? <laughs> So they didn't want me following them or any anything, and I was like, I need to know, I need to know where they're going. Another little <clears throat> side note to the story, which is extremely terrible as well. Um, but when I think we were, because me and me and Kara um, both smoked cigarettes at the time, and um, I think we were outside smoking one time, like before all this madness happened, and some guy came up and I remember he had like a ball. It was like a clear plastic ball and it had what he said was Molly in it, um, which I did buy off of off of him um, for Kara and I and we took one. So side note right there, don't ever buy drugs off of a fucking stranger. But I was, oh God, I don't even know. Like I was looking back on this now. I'm like, dude, how are you alive? Like what, how are you alive? What? So, <clears throat> Fast forward back, Kara is in handcuffs and as Tyler is as well. I didn't really know where Tyler went because he was, he had the, he took the fall um, for having the cocaine on him and just said that Kara was doing it with him. But he took the hit for it. And 
Mind you, my parents are like back at this campsite, like, oh yeah, oh my god, they're like having a great old time, you know, like not getting in any trouble at all, just getting drunk and but they ended up taking Kara and Tyler to the same area and it was like the police station inside the casino where they did they did a drug screening, um, they did a sobriety test, they did like fingerprinting and I was worried sick um, because these are both my friends. I was by myself, I didn't know where to go and I would have had to walk like a mile and a half to two miles back to the campsite by myself, mind you. So this would have been really fucking dark. On New Year's, there's a ton of drunk people out like, and I would be walking by myself and then I'd have to show up to my parents' campsite and be like, oh uh, yeah, well, um, <laughs> like my friends are both in jail, but like, I'm, I'm fine. So it is about, I would say like 1.30 in the morning and I tried going in there for any kind of update. Once again, there was the bitch cop that I was just like, can I just get like one, like some update, like what's going on? Like I just, I just want to know, are they going to be released? Do I need to call somebody? And the cop was like, she's, she's going to jail. Like she is going to jail. And I was just like, fuck, <laughs> what? <laughs> and so I'm just worried sick and there is no chairs, no nothing outside of this, um, this police station. <clears throat> and so I sat on the ground for three and a half hours. So four o'clock in the morning rolls around and they released Kara. And Kara had no access to her phone because um, I had her phone. They gave me everything and she had no access to anything. And so when she walked out, she just like dropped to the ground and started crying. Cause she was just like, oh my God, he waited for me. Like I didn't know. I didn't know what the fuck to do when I was gonna get released out of here because I had no, she's very terrible with directions. <clears throat> she had no idea what to do and she was just crying there and I was so relieved. I was like, what is, like, what's happening? And she was like, they released me, like, but her, so she didn't get any charges pressed against her, um, but she was banned for life for, from the casinos. Um, so she would never be able to go back there and um, play casinos or if she ever got in trouble again, she was banned for life. So she would have gotten like a lot more trouble if she ever did go back there and um, get caught. But um, <clears throat> I was like, do you, did they give you any update on Tyler? Like what are they gonna do with Tyler? And Carol was like, I have no idea what they're gonna do with Tyler. And we couldn't figure out anything. Like nobody was telling us anything. Finally, when we went in there, we asked, we're like, hey, we just need to know like if we need to like call somebody and what's gonna what's gonna happen. And one of the cops was like, he is going to jail. Like he will be here overnight. He might be here for longer. We're not sure, but he is going to jail so you guys can go home. And so uh, Carrie and I, walked home, which was like a mile and a half to two miles, like I said, at four in the morning. Such a fucking shame walk, because we were wearing dresses and heels and came down off of off of drugs and and alcohol, like just looking like a big old ball of shit. But we walked back and my parents were like, oh my gosh, like you guys look like you had a rough night. And we were just like, mm-hmm. And they were like, where's Tyler? Yeah, I was like, Tyler was like really sick and he just kind of went home early and he went um, to our friend, I mean, it's irrelevant in the story, so I'm just gonna say Joe or something. Um, he went to Joe's house and ended up passing out because Joe was like a good friend of all of ours as well. Um, he just, that's the one that has a house in Tahoe. But we were just like, yeah, he's like passed out there. He's gonna be sleeping and um, <laughs> My parents and Kara and I, we ended up going to, to the beach that day and my parents just kept asking me about Tyler. They were like, it's like, is he good? And I was like, yeah, he's just sleeping like all day long. He's really hungover. And um, just kept saying that I talked to him. Mind you, I had no fucking idea where Tyler was. And then while we we're just out on the lake enjoying the weekend, I get a phone call from Tyler's mom because Tyler and I were really close and she knew that as well. And um, I get a phone call and she was like, hey, where is Tyler? I haven't heard from him in a really long 
like time and I was just like um you know he went to um our friend's house he was really hungover and um and he just like slept it off and she was like no Brittany I got a call from the police station and I was just like oh um that's where he is um and I had no idea she was like they wouldn't tell me anything they just told me that he was in jail and I, do you know what happened you were with him that whole night and I was just like you know I don't um, I have no I have no idea because I was not about to be the one to tell Tyler's mom um yeah he got caught doing drugs in the in the bathroom stall and they just kind of arrested him and he's going to jail and I don't know where he is but he came with us. Okay, sorry if the camera's moved a little bit. Um, internally, it was too hot, apparently. Anyways, um, so yeah, I got off the phone with Tyler's mom and kind of just like put her at ease and told her that I would figure it the fuck out. Um, I had no idea what I was gonna, I had no idea what I was gonna tell her. Um, because of course I want to tell her like that everything's okay, but I just, how would I know that if I had no idea what like happened? But anyways, by that time, my parents were like, well, we gotta go home. Like, is Tyler gonna come with us? And I was like, um, no, he's just gonna go home um, with a couple of our other friends that came here. And she was just like, is everything okay? Like, why, like, my mom, being as sweet as she is, she's just like, is everything okay? Like, I, I don't know, it's weird that he came with us. We still have all his stuff and everything. And I was like, yeah, he's fine. Like, it's okay. Like, everything's fine. <laughs> I kept calling the police station trying to see if there was like anything um, that we could do but we had to leave Tyler like we had to leave him and which I know wasn't gonna be that big of a deal because we had so many friends that could that gave him like could give him a ride home so I wasn't worried about him just being like stranded but I had to get in contact with a couple of our friends um, long story short Tyler was in jail for two days um, and he got a misdemeanor for like possession of drugs, um, I believe. And it eventually got dropped, I'm pretty sure. Um, I'm not exactly 100% sure if that's right, but I'm almost positive that it did get dropped. Um, but he as well was banned for life from the casinos. Um, I got out of it. <laughs> I don't know how I did. Um, I don't know, I think I'm, I feel like I'm pretty lucky in those situations. But yeah, that was about the crazy adventure that we had in Tahoe. Um, my poor parents had no idea. And I actually, my, uh, Kara and I did tell my parents everything that happened that night um, later on the road. And they were just like, are you fucking kidding me? It was just such, such a crazy, crazy night. It's probably one of the wildest nights of my life, I think, because I was just, I don't know, I, ugh, the, ugh, the amount of trouble that we could have actually all could have gotten in could have been really, really serious. So I definitely don't recommend bringing drugs into a casino and doing them in the bathroom. But yeah, that is a story time about how um, we got caught doing drugs in the bathroom and got arrested and banned for life from the casinos. <laughs> do not do anything that I did. I, I'm, I've probably said this about 30 times, but just don't do it. Like that, I, this is how stupid teenagers are. And like, I don't know, I, I believe I was like 19 at the time, 19 or 20, I don't know. But this is how, this is how stupid we are. Like how, how I don't think this story could get any more stupid. Like our decisions were just dumb, um, which we were just looking for a good time and you make mistakes when you're younger. Um, so yeah, don't judge me because I know you guys have done some shitty shit too. But yeah, this was a long, long time ago. I am now 26. Um, I have not touched any of that kind of stuff in a really, really long time. Um, and I don't suggest it to anybody. But yeah, um, leave your feedback below. Don't be too harsh. Um, like I said, I was just young and I was dumb and just forgive me. <laughs> but I've been wanting to tell the story for a little bit because it was one of the most traumatic experiences I think I've ever gone through. I hope you guys enjoyed this story. Um, I have plenty, plenty more stories that I can tell that are just maybe not as crazy as this, but they still are pretty crazy. Um, but yeah, don't forget to like this video if you did like it. Um, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe because I will be posting a lot more um, 
leave your feedback below on what you want to see on my channel and thank you so so much for watching this video and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!